Hello, emperors of Rome. Muffin of the Julii here. And just a quick note before we begin the video. Well, there's two things. One, if you're watching this, please like and subscribe. I have a goal of hitting 1,000 likes by my, in my whole YouTube career, and I would really like that. And the second thing is, my birthday was up three days ago from the time this will be out, from now too. Um, so happy birthday to me. And now for a few things. I've got new gaming equipment and I'm so happy about it. I've got this really nice keyboard. Both really good presents in this book and it'll really help in our reenactment of a Soviet Ura charge, which was when they sent a bunch of fun, random people with guns to charge at the enemy. A bit of a suicide tactic. So we're going to start this battle. We'll have two goats and then I'll modify it a bit. Here, the first one, we're going to apply is the Germans. The second, the Soviets. So let's get into this. Oh, okay. And I'm going to control a sniper. And I'm going to get inside this house, like all the other troops, except for those snipers who are the, who are the, we're supposed, are the snipers who are supposed to come here. Ooh, one shot kill. As you can see, this is pretty accurate. Normally they would be charging, not trying to shoot back, but we have limitations in this game and this is the best I could do. I, what? Well, this is a bit unexpected. I did test this before to see how I could make this happen, but um, last time they charged straight at the soldiers over there, not in the soldiers in this house. Which sort of works because it just makes that charging impossible. And what a surprise, the Germans win. Let's try and play as the Soviets and turn this around. Let this begin. Now let me get on an SM control. Okay, we've got... The Russian charge is happening. Okay, I'm charging up. I'm charging at the enemy. I'm gonna get this grenade off, as Laser Beam says. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted for that. Please, fingers crossed. Woohoo! I the Russians win. Well, that was a surprising twist of fate. Last time the Germans won, but now the Russians won. Now let's add some tanks. And some more troops. So I've just quickly thrown up a battle like last time, but this time there are tanks. So I'd just like to talk about some of the tanks which I've done, and the Russians have got a ton more infantry, and the Germans. So I've decided since the Russians have so much infantry, I'll give the ch Germans a bunch of tanks. And I decided to give them the Germans early war, extremely good against infantry, Panzer 38Ts, some Panzer 3s, and a Panzer 4, and a, I believe that's Panzer 2, against the Russians who will have a Panzer, no, a T-34-85, a T-34, a BT-7, and another BT-7. Uh, and just a fun little thing, to remember the Panzer 4 from the Panzer 3, so you see how that there's six track little circles here if you divide it by two panzer three and if you have the panzer four eight divided by two four okay that's a little fun fact on with the fighting so let's start this battle control Bang. no 
I've just got to make sure that... Come on, driver. I've just got to make sure they don't get in gra grenade distance. Because, believe it or not, this is sort of like the first one, but unlike the first one, there are the machine guns. I, if Total Tank Simulator, the infantry, there was like machine guns, I would have had the, so, like the Germans, their machine gun at mostly of the war was the Pat MG30, no, MG42. So if I could get a couple of those in this game, the Russians would just be, would, they, we'd do like this. <laughs> and I really wanted to sort of get that. But they can't because it's total tank and total tank has limitations. Sorry, emperors of Rome. We have a short delay because, well, we couldn't get that final battle to work. So we'll have to say adieu, adieu, which I think means goodbye. I'm not sure which language, but I just know. French, I think.